Hi guys, got a request here from Mahir Patel. Can you record a video on how to make a rubber band car with stuff that I would find in my house or have in my house? That goes eight meters for my physics project. Can you please post it, Tom? I assume that means tomorrow, if you can. Yeah, okay. Well, I think I've got roughly 500 or 600 videos of rubber band powered cars already on YouTube. And asking me to do it by tomorrow is pushing it a bit, especially with no details of what he might have in his house. So I'm going to have to make some guesses as to what he might have and see what I can come up with. I suppose I'd better not use CDs. CDs are my first choice for wheels. And most houses have got them, but I just don't know. Cardboard, might have cardboard. Plastic pop bottle, might have. Milk carton, might have. These are all things I've made rubber band powered cars out of before. I'll go and have a look what I've got in my stock. I've had a quick look in the garage to see what junk I've got in there. I've got a milk bottle or plastic jug. I've got a pop bottle. I think that's a one and a half liter size. Got some barbecue skewers. Some drinking straws in there as well. Yeah, plastic container, I don't think I'll use that, although you could make a little rubber band powered car out of that quite easily. But he wants to go, uh, I can't remember how far it was, was it 8 metres? 12 metres? Something like that. Uh, got some empty drinks cans which I've, yeah, I don't think I'll use them. I could use them, but again, if we want to do distance, they're probably not ideal. I've got a cardboard box I had an Amazon delivery in the other day. That might do for wheels. Cut discs out of that. I've got a rather nice cardboard tray there. Nice thick cardboard. Given the choice, I would use that, because that would make a very good chassis. Not all of it, you just cut the bit you want out of it, but it's nice and firm and light, and that would make a very good chassis, but I'm assuming that's not the sort of thing you would have in your house. Piece of paper, we'll come back to that later. I've got a bowl, I'm going to use that to draw a circle. Because I'm assuming that you haven't got the right tools for drawing a circle. That will be for the wheels. I've got a steel ruler. Got some scissors. Got a sharp knife. And got some ordinary sticky tape. So, looking at what I've got to hand, and as I say, I would like to use that. I use that regularly for my model cars, but I'm assuming that you just don't happen to have a nice cardboard tray like that. If you look in my video description, there'll be links to hundreds of rubber band cars. And you'll see I've done all sorts of types. I think I'll use this because it's the easiest one to use. All I need to do is swill it out then put some holes in it, back and front. If you look at these very carefully, you'll find they've got a seam. I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but that helps you to align things if you use that seam, because there's one on the other side. If I can find it. I can't see the one on the other side. That's interesting. Maybe this one doesn't have a seam on both sides. It's certainly got one on one side. Oh, it is there. It's just not very clear. 
yeah there's a seam on both sides so that helps us align side to side it's got rings on it going front to back don't need the ones in the middle but the one at the back will be handy to align the axle and we need one right at the front we could probably measure from the back to the front to get the distance we're going to need to cut a hole in the top so we can access the rubber band and we're going to need to push some holes in it so you'll need something sharp to push holes in a pointy nail or something like that again if you look at my existing videos quite a few of them I use a nail on a stick on a yeah on a stick or on a piece of wood and I heat the nail up and then push it through because that melts a hole a very nice hole but I'll assume you're not allowed to do that I'll just push a hole through with a nail or a screwdriver or something like that right so that'll be our body that'll be our wheels bamboo canes for the axle and we need some rubber bands obviously well, the first thing we're going to do is make some wheels out of this box. If I wasn't doing this with a lack of supervision, as in not knowing exactly what we can use, I would use CDs. CDs are ideal for rubber band powered cars. One problem you'll have when you make wheels like this is you need to find the centre. I will show you a method of finding the centre. If you don't get the centre, then you may find it doesn't run very evenly. Right, so four wheels. Now we need to look at the body. There's a line going around that way, and there's a line going around that way. Or the seam that way, and the line that way. Pencil's really not dark enough to show this. Next thing we need is a hole in the top so we can reach in and connect the rubber band to the back axle. So we need to cut a good sized hole all the way like that. Right, rubber bands, connecting them together. <laughs> I do this so quickly people don't follow it. Let's see if we can demonstrate winding it up this time. I've made the hole at the back much bigger so I can get my fingers in there easier. So this goes, still fingers are in the way, I'm sorry, but over the top of the axle. Spin it round so the rubber band goes over itself. That holds it in place. Wind it up. And then we're going to let it go. And I think, well, it's going to go off to one side. We went left. Not to worry. Right, I'm going to point it right and let it go. But what I will have to do is adjust those holes at the front to try and straighten up the steering. Okay. 
Okay, we have plenty of power. If we got to the back door there, we'd have done eight meters. So I'll try and straighten that steering up and see if we can go straight. Right, I've adjusted the holes at the front to try and level up the steering. And I've also wrapped some sticky tape around the outside of the axle and onto the wheel to try and stop the wheel sliding on the axle. So, let's see what happens. Ah, that's going straight. <laughs> I pointed it right to be on the safe side and it went pretty well straight. So we'll do that again. I won't point it quite so far to the right. Okay, off we go again. <laughs> Nearly did it. It still went a little bit left. It was going to make the distance, wasn't it? No trouble. How about if we go back the other way? Well, that was a better run. That was actually about 10 meters because we came through the door. It's about, actually it's about nine meters, eight or nine meters from that line to the back door. And we've come the other way through there, another two meters. So we've certainly done eight meters with this, which is about as rough as it can be. because I've just made it with sticky tape, cardboard, all right, that works. So we got plastic drink bottle or pop bottle, two barbecue skewers or bamboo skewers, some cardboard cut into circles for the wheels, and sticky tape. Oh, and rubber bands, obviously. And we just did, well, we just did about 10 metres. <laughs> 